Okay, we are on lockout day and there's a few things that we need to do in order to have a successful hatch or to contribute to a successful hatch. There's been steps all, all along the way actually, but this is pretty big according to a lot of the videos and research that I've done. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to fill water pot A and B. So this one is A and I've been um, filling it every day. It's required just a little bit every day to keep it full. And we're gonna remove this plug from B. Okay, removed. And we're going to fill both of these. So that's gonna be the first thing that I do. I'm gonna be using distilled water for that. And we've been doing that all along. So as I am sitting here, staring, very, ah, it did it again. Did you guys see it? I was so hoping it would do it when I caught on the camera. So that egg with the M on it, it's a Moran, obviously. <laughs> it has been moving like the entire time I've been sitting over here uh, and pouring this water. And it's just, like every now and then it'll just jump. The egg turner is not turning and so it's like what's going on it's moving so I think I said in my original video when we got these eggs in the mail that the Moran eggs were the ones that I was most excited about and I still am and so it brings me great pleasure and just joy to see that little egg just bouncing over there just just ah grow baby grow I'm so excited all right so that's that we've got water pot a and b filled and a little spillage there I'll wipe that up later what we're gonna do next is and I have my egg instructions right here close by um we're going to ah that's what we're gonna do we we need to remove the egg turner it should lift right up according to what I've read on these instructions so we're gonna give that a shot now Supposedly, this should pull right. Uh, some of our eggs might be too big. Oh no. Uh, let's see. Okay, we do have a couple that's too big. So I'm gonna see one's over there getting stuck and one stuck here so I'm gonna put the camera down so I can grab those right quick okay we got them out and that one egg right there is so light there's no way there's anything in it but did it just move I'm tripping I'm tripping okay <laughs> so <laughs> the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to put the lid back on we're gonna put this back on and then well let's just get it back on okay we have removed our egg turner we have filled water pot a and b we've put the lid back on now we need to open this vent fully vent is now fully open all right 
So our goal is to get our humidity between 65 and 75 percent. So ideal is 70 according to what I'm reading here. Around 70, 65 to 75 is acceptable. And so we've added that water. We've done all those steps and I just put the lid back on and I made sure that I had it closed appropriately with the notches and everything we spoke about earlier. And let's look and see where our temperature is. Uh, we're back already to 99, well, almost 99.5. It's fluctuating back and forth. And our humidity is already at 60%. So we are well on our way. Now the paperwork says that it could take two to three hours for the temperature and the humidity for for the humidity not the temperature for the humidity to get stable between 65 and 75 degrees 70 percent in, in that area um so we may see some fluctuation over the next few hours before it kind of levels out a little bit so what we'll do is i'm willing to bet that that's going to be the first egg that hatches right there that Moran, but we'll keep an eye on everything very closely over the next couple of days. Stay tuned. It's really exciting. It's scary all of the 